Time to commence. Yes, this is Brother Polite here for another installment. I got my homies over here. Yeah, good brothers to help me with the driving. Help a tough night go through. Boom, boom, boom. You know how I do. Yes, 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 yes. Boom. And then we got this, of course. This is how we do it. Come on, people. I wouldn't give you less. I wouldn't dare give you less. You know how we do this. Okay. Okay. Rise and grind. Oh, now, nah, uh, find me real quick. I'm up. I'm coming right now. We out here. Peace of the family. So right now we talking about... Right now we talking about... Right now we talking about cryptocurrency, mastery of the black woman, and crypto economics. That's what we're talking about. Yeah, had a very long night. There ain't no sleep over here. Trust me. I'm having my drivers up round the clock. Got my drivers awake round the clock. Peace, peace. You already know. But let's get a good conversation in. Let's get a good conversation in. And make this thing happen, you know? Let's get a good conversation in and make this thing happen. That's how we're gonna do that. Hold tight, people. Hold tight. Mastery of the black woman in crypto economics. Mastery of the black woman in crypto e economics. Let's get it. Are y'all ready for this information? Oh, I know what I must do now. I know what I must do now. In order to become successful, you gotta have no ceiling. Sky ain't the limit. Space is. <laughs> Yeah, why not? Woo. We don't talk about this black woman, though. Now, I'm not going to sit here and tell you. Yeah, come on out, my, my brother. I'm not going to sit here and tell you I know everything there is. To know that concerns black women. What I am going to tell you is, when it comes to the black woman, she is the epitome of, when it comes to the knowledge of the black woman, she is the epitome of, the more you learn, the less you know. And that's the first step to mastering the black woman. Understand, anytime you learn something about her, you, you know that much less. And if you don't bear witness to that truth, you're going to be really in for a doozy. So first things first, the more you learn, the less you know. Don't be walking around here thinking you got her figured out. Because that's when you get tricked all the damn time. <laughs> that's number one. And then how I was taught, you got the preacher. Okay. How I was taught, you got the preacher. You got the teacher. And you got the street leader. That could be the gang leader. That could be the hustler, so forth and so on. So you got the preacher, the teacher, and the street leader. And what happens is, a lot of times, 
they have put something other than the woman before they have put something before the woman let's put it like that the preacher the teacher and the street leader be they gang member be they hustler and so the preacher has God right at the forefront of everything the teacher has his doctrine right before everything it could be comedic science it could be the Morris doctrine what have you and then that's the conscious brother or sister brother in this particular case pardon me so the preacher puts God before everything the teacher puts his doctrine before everything and then the street leader puts money before everything and then here goes this woman now she comes into your life and now she's like well I'll be damned if I'm second to anything so now the woman competes well for her it's not no competition she comes into your world and the question is now are you gonna still say money over bitches this is what the street leader finds himself in this conundrum because this whole world revolves around money over bees right and you know I don't call women bees but this is what they say money over bees and so the street leader is like money over bees then he meets this woman he's head over shoulders for he's in love with and now the thing is well she's like well I hear that money thing but I'm first and the preacher is like okay I deal with God so that woman comes into his life and now the question is is he going to compromise the integrity of his mission and put her before his God and the conscious teacher now has to find out is it his doctrine first or will he make concessions to the woman that he's in love with so to keep discipline it's not that the woman is there like an evil force to get a brother to compromise the integrity of his moral compass but oftentimes what you'll find is the unsuccessful brother will give up his doctrine or that which he makes subscription to that which he makes subscriptions to in the form of discipline and put her in that place as opposed to be unified with her so that they both can make subscriptions towards the same goal. So no, she's not supposed to be first to that information. She's supposed to work with you and make subscriptions to the same. And so the biggest problem that our brothers have is that we embrace problem that we have is that we'll embrace the woman so much jackass you know people always got something slick to say <laughs> you know it's just crazy it's like yo I said we're running on no sleep right or wrong I mean yes no sleep no sleep you know what I'm saying I got my brothers up all night <laughs> moving around driving picking sisters up dropping sisters off doing it brother polite style and I'm like you know what let's do a live stream and yo I'm doing a live stream it's like six something in the morning so what what time is it shit yeah. it's 8 46 a.m. people already hate <laughs> it's 8 46 like yo fam there's no sleep involved with what I do so at 8 46 a.m. considering <laughs> I was awake 8 46 a.m. prior this over 24 hours I'm moving around my eyes is gonna be a little red <laughs> you got valet telling us to get out, move. <laughs> yeah, I just pulled up. I'm like, yo, fam, we need to get this knowledge. Let's do this knowledge. You with it? And you're like, yeah, let's get this information in. So. Back to the black woman. Back to the black woman. So the, the name of the game is for both parties to make subscriptions to the same knowledge. But what happens is we'll be so enticed by the beauty and the elegance of the woman that what we'll do is drop the discipline and put her first to everything as opposed to us both working with each other striding towards the same exact goal and when that happens now we deviate it's like that's what got the woman there in the first place is your discipline for the knowledge or exactly for the God or for and, the and that's why the preachers the leaders teachers the street 
brothers and sisters, those, the street brothers, the teachers, the preachers, they're the ones who get all the women. They do. You know, they because do. they're disciplined. And then it's that same discipline that got the woman that they don't maintain exactly. when they're with the woman. And thus, the mystery is gone and she goes for somebody else. She loses now, respect. This is all facts. These are all facts. You know, but you don't got to listen to this. You know, just, I'm just saying, like, the way I travel and the way I move, I mean, my <laughs> brothers know, like, when I pull up, I don't have enough vehicles to put all the women in when I pull up. These are facts. A man to tell you, just me alone, this is how I do what I do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. My man to tell you, this is just me alone is not enough. Like, this is how I move. And, you know, they was like, yo, you got to share some of this information. So I said, I'll impart some wisdom. I said, yo, I'll impart some of this wisdom. But, you know, we'll see what it is. We'll see what it is. So, you know, y'all can, you know, it's just so sad because every time it's time to teach, Every time it's time to share some information, you got people who focus on so much negativity, you miss the information. Is this a challenge I'm personally experiencing? Man, being with women in general is a challenge. And if you're not challenged by the woman you're with, then you shouldn't be with that woman in the first place. A woman put on planet Earth to provide that challenge, to make you greater, to make you better. That's why it's a weak mentality of a man to be upset when it comes to a woman questioning him or even a woman second guessing him. Now I'm not saying she's supposed to always second guess the person, because that's not healthy. But you should have a woman in your life that questions you. You may have a yes man, but you damn sure don't want to have a yes woman. That's a fact. You may have a yes man, but you damn sure don't want to have a yes woman. These are facts. These are all facts. You can have a yes man, but you damn sure don't want to have a yes woman. Can you pardon me? I'm going into my second set of wakeness, wokeness, because like I said, we be wide awake, man. In order to work for Brother Polite like these brothers do, you got to be awake. <laughs> you got to be on point. My man probably sleeping in the car right now just to get his mind right. This is what we do. I'm getting there, the sun's coming out. I'm starting to get my myself together. Yeah, it worked. Yeah. Yeah, if you're interested in the mentorship, you hit me at brotherpolite45 at gmail.com. Hold on, let me write it. And you leave your full name and phone number. or mentorship. Just pinned it. Go to brotherpolite45 at gmail.com. Oh, what the hell? What the? What the heck? May as well. May as well. May as well. May as well. I know, I know, I know. And the black man, the first thing he says is, yeah, he, he's riding around in his rentals. You no, know, I rent them out. And how, how many times are you going to see this throughout the month before you come to terms that I'm the one doing this? See, it's sad. It's sad that this has to come up every time we do this knowledge. Every time, for real. Yeah. Of course, you do me a, a solid, King. Yeah. Come on, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that's the main thing I want y'all to take into consideration. The main thing I want you to take into consideration is that you and the sister got to work together towards the same goals, the same ideals, whatever that may be. 
whether it be your religion, your doctrine in general, or your philosophy, however you want to call it or coin it, y'all got to work together. You feel me? Because that is the foundation for you to have a reference point to which in y'all are able to settle your disputes or any other form of issues. It's a responsibility that you have. So if you don't stick to the very thing that may have impelled the woman to come towards you, you'll be wondering, where did I go wrong? Where did we, where did we go wrong? And that'd be because the format changed once you got together. Once you, once you enticed her to get into this relationship, you changed the philosophy, you changed the doctrine. Because you probably had more faith mm. in something else than the very doctrine that was supposed to substantiate your faith. So you got to stick with the philosophy. And I'm not saying, hey, if you're a drug dealer, stick with the drug dealer. I'm saying that women are naturally attracted to leaders. Rightfully so, they should be. We are animals in the animal kingdom. They're designed to connect with the leadership. If you're not a leader, you're not going to have that same appeal to women. It's that simple. People always be like, well, you wouldn't have all those women around you if it wasn't for the money. I slept on the floor with my first four wives. We had no furniture. And I told them, I don't want to have a sophisticated project apartment crib. So all of our monies went towards our laptops, our shirt machines, our butt machines, our iPads, our heat transfer papers, our pens to make our buttons. Like, we never deviated from the strategy. You feel what I'm saying? We, we took the time out and we was like, yo, listen, we're not about to pimp our project apartment. The only furniture we have is the bump beds for our children. Other than that, we slept on the floor in sleeping bags in the project. Got my, I'll be down if I buy uh, a memory foam mattress inside of a project where there's a rodent moving around back and forth. We're not doing that. And no matter how clean we kept our apartment, somebody else's apartment was bringing in the vermin. That's just how it is when you're in the hood. I'm not about to buy no flat screen TV for over here. Sorry, pass. Or, and all their mothers was like, yo, this guy's a bump. This guy got more than one of you in this house. He running a coat. They said they had all the stuff to say. Now look at me now. Every wife got their own feet. Every wife got their own crib. You feel what I'm saying? We come a long way because we had a destination. We have a, a predetermined path. Okay? We, we had a focal point and we all were driven to get to that same goal. We didn't deviate because sex became the focal point. No, our success became the focal point. So I'm telling you, I got a lot that I can share and a lot to offer. And it's unfortunate because a lot of times when, a, when people see a brother working in communion with several women at a time, the only thing that they can reference is pimping instead of polygyny. But f your first reference point should be polygyny. But most people's first reference point is, oh, this nigga a pimp. So you would rather a brother have several baby mothers and be in conflict with them than to have several women and be in a relationship with them where there's trust, security, consideration, appreciation. And these are economic terms. Bonding and sharing. It's like against the law for a brother to get the respect of more than one woman simultaneously. You would be more comfortable knowing that I have an issue with more than one woman at a time that I had a relationship with. Then to come to terms with the fact that, damn, this is a beautiful thing. This is powerful that this brother has a has the ability to establish some form of union or communion with multiple women at a time. See? The sun is all in my eyes, beautiful things. You know, it got us up just before I was about to knock out. So it's a great thing. And we're about to talk about cryptocurrency as well. But the number one thing is when we talk about this black woman, she has every right to look for a sense of security. She has every right to look for trust, appreciation, bonding, sharing, friendship. You know, she's the greatest commodity in the black community. And to be at peace with her is to be at peace within yourself. Because anytime you have chaos within the confines of your black man, black woman, relationship, your life is chaos. And there's nothing that brings you more peace than to 
just be in a state of harmony with your female significant other. But the problem is we struggle and we fight with her. And it's, it works reminiscent to that of meditation. When you meditate, you don't want to, um, when you meditate, you don't want to fight with your mind to stay still. You want to establish stillness of the mind without any form of aggression. And this is why I said for the black man, being an alpha male has very little to do with aggression. Being an alpha male, being an alpha male is predicated upon exercising humility when confronted with adversity. Because an alpha male knows his aggression. So you get no credit or no props if you lash out at another person. If you yell, you curse, you scream, or you fight at an instant when you feel disrespected. There's no glory for that for an alpha male. Because the struggle is to subdue your passions. So an alpha male knows that his greatest strife or his greatest task, right, is to be able to subdue his passions. The alpha male knows that exercising humility when confronted with adversity is his greatest task, is his greatest challenge. You know how strong you are. You know how for real you are as a man. If you know that when confronted with adversity, you exercise humility as opposed to aggression. That's real talk. And that's why it's hard for a lot of our brothers to be able to be in a relationship with a black woman. Because we will deal with the adversity of a woman that challenges us with aggression as opposed to humility. And we think somehow that we're soft because of that. We say to ourselves, I'm not going to submit to her. We say to ourselves, she's being irrational. She's overly emotional. So we over here wrestling her, just like we attempt to wrestle the mind when it comes to meditation. You take for what you want, but I'm telling you, I know what I'm talking about. Whether you like it or not, <laughs> you can take it for what you want. You know, I'm just building. I don't even like getting into these conversations, honestly, but I was talking to the homies and they was like, man, listen, you need to do a class on this. But I'm like, it's not good because people will take this and then what they want to do is call it being in a cult or they say this is cult doctrine and cult philosophy and even some sisters get upset and the reality is I'm saying just don't fight against it if you, if you want to fight to establish harmony amongst the woman you're going to lose you got to exercise humility when confronted with adversity to establish yourself as the alpha male that you may conceive yourself to be because they want the alpha male but then we got a question, what exactly is the alpha male? And it's not one who asserts themselves aggressively when confronted with adversity. To the contrary, it's one that makes subscriptions to humility when confronted with adversity because they're aware of their aggression, they're aware of their volatility, they're aware of their combative type of mentality or disposition. They're aware of that. If you feel what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking to you about, man. It's a beautiful thing when your eyes is truly open and you realize, man, just like meditation, I'm not going to wrestle with my mind no more. So you said that how you bring about stillness. You bring about stillness through acceptance. You bring about stillness first through introspection. And you ask yourself, why am I thinking what I'm thinking and why am I feeling what I'm feeling? These are facts. Why am I thinking what I'm thinking and why am I feeling what I'm feeling? Well, you know, just keep in mind, man, I haven't rested in like, it's been like two days and change. I sleep every other day, but I'm doing too much right now because I'm past the two-day mark. So, you know, if I'm puffy-eyed or if I'm red-eyed, it also because I'm sitting in the sun. But, you know, and I like that because I like to catch the sunrise. So we actually caught the sunrise and I like the solar days, catch the sun when it's rising and or catch the sun when it's setting. But, you know, we, we out here just making it happen. We talk about mastering the black woman and what cryptocurrency. Let me let me let me get into this cryptocurrency. Matter of fact, I'm gonna showcase my mentee. We have another course coming up. One of the classes that you want to get in this course is gonna be cryptocurrency because we're gonna show you how to actually make money. Now you can get this through the mentorship, or you you can get of course some data. Through the course. The course is going to teach you how to make money in real time, effective immediately from cryptocurrency. However, 
you join the mentorship and you compartmentalize a lot of this information and you'll be able to really learn this in real time. We'll hold your hand through it. There's a lot that you don't know. Like for instance, people buy into cryptocurrency, they may purchase a Bitcoin, probably through fractional uh, means now because it's so expensive or any of these other coins, but they don't really own the coin. This is a conversation that needs to be had. You know, um, there's these browsers that you guys use, but then you don't even realize there's other types of browsers. So you may have your Google Chrome and all these other stuff or Safari, but those are not the browsers you want to use. You want to use browsers that have a corresponding wallet yep. embedded into it. And you yep. may say browsers with a wallet? Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So these are conversations that you got to have. I'm going to make sure my mentee shines because he's very articulate in these matters. And we just want to share with you some information because if you're still using them outdated browsers, I already know you're not where the money's at because the world is changing effective immediately. So now you have to understand what exactly is currency in the first place. Yep, so absolutely. we got to have a conversation about currency. And so this conversation is very interesting because the theme is mastery of the black woman and crypto economics. So you probably say, how does one have to do with the other? But I teach love is law, family is business. And I also teach about common customs, which is a calculus system that precipitates culture by process of differentiation and integration. We're able to find the value of smaller things and factorials of those equivalents, thus granting us at least adverse effects from the decisions that we make. Why is that important? And then a trusted property held on behalf of one so that another may benefit. The reason why this is important, because as men, we're supposed to provide. And as a woman, you're supposed to make sure, understand the crisis that black men are in based on them perpetuating their own self-genocide the fratricidal war that we indulge in us being incarcerated because of this prison system in addition to the effeminization of the black man and the rise of homosexuality through the foods that we and so forth and so on that the man to woman ratio is totally disproportionate so she needs to take the time out to also level up when it comes to economics whilst at the same breath the black man one of the main things compromise integrity of his relationship with the black woman is his inability to generate revenue his inability to provide it frustrates her but it also frustrates him because innately he's designed to be a provider and if he can't create those provisions if he doesn't have those provisions if he doesn't have the ability to provide he grows insecure and thus it's hard for him to be a mate to the woman that he's dealing with because his inability to provide. So, you know, cryptocurrency, the reason why we wanna have this conversation is because it's still relatively new and you can get in in enough time so when this world changed, mm. your children would be like, ma'am, thank goodness yep. my grandparent was down with the vibe, or your children's children, I should say, should yep. be like, man, <laughs> your children's children would be like, dang, thank goodness my uh, parent was on point or my parent's parent was on point when this all started. Yeah. So by the time your children's children come into play, they're born into too wealth. Late. Yeah. Yeah. They're yeah. either born into wealth via wealth stewardship, generational wealth, or they'll be just like us when we grew up saying, damn, I wish our parents would have lined us up properly. I wish we would have came into inherited wealth, you know? So we're gonna go let's get let's yeah. get into the crypto economics. I can either turn it around and myself or I got you. Let's get into this crypto Let's Aloha. get into this crypto economics. Let's crypto get Crypto Roots on YouTube, McNaughty Dread on Instagram. And we are officially in the web 3.0. As most of you guys are aware, uh, you probably aren't aware, but we are we've been living in the web 2.0. And when AOL first started, that was the web 1.0. Now, basically, the most valuable thing you have in this digital age is your data. And at this point in time, we're all data slaves. Mm. Data is the real gold. And that's what the companies, the advertisements, companies, that's what they want. Google, they want all your data. And they actually have a lot of it. But with, uh, with the introduction of Bitcoin, it opened up a whole other uh, world of uh, decentralization and an internet protocol where we can trust each other. We can verify everyone else's transactions. And from that... Um, we created a system of wealth or uh, value and Bitcoin could be uh, equivalent to digital gold since there's such a limited value and in fact we don't even know how much gold is out there so and how much has been mined or where it's placed so as far as like real ver uh, value and scarcity people are saying Bitcoin is one of the most scarce things next to time 
and we can break down the numbers later, but there's 21 million Bitcoin that, that can ever be created, and they're already estimating six or seven million will never have access to. So break down the math, maybe 15 or 16 million Bitcoin divided by 7.5 billion people. We're looking at one, of the, possibly one of the most valuable assets we have seen in you know, the last couple thousand years. Mm. And so with that being said, there is a new internet you connect to. There's a new browser you use. You actually download a, a crypto wallet. If you have to pay for anything, it is not decentralized. Don't pay for anything. Make sure if you have to type in your password to get to your Bitcoin, it is not your Bitcoin. Make sure you own your private keys. And I'm stressing this just because these are the misconceptions. Now, that now, have. now, watch this real quick. Because uh, you know, someone always feels they know. But if we could bring these people on the live uh, stream, any, any questions? Now, I'm, watch I'm this. Ready. Ready. So, because there's always the people who feel they know. One person said, if it ain't backed by gold, I'm not falling for it. And another person said, Bitcoin is the past. Woo! Okay. So a lot of people said Apple was the past in 1994, 1995. A lot of people, it's the early adopters who profit the most. The people who are the most open-minded and give things a chance. Even if you don't even drop a little bit. I know a brother personally from Maui, Hawaii. His name is Zen. He dropped a thousand dollars on a thing called Redcoin. Three years later, made him $300,000. Six months later, it turned into $2 million. So what's happening is a lot of these coins are fractions of a penny, fractions of a penny. And it's not gonna hurt to drop $10 on something like that. It's not gonna hurt to drop 100 bucks. Obviously do your due diligence, do your research, and we can break that down in the course, how to analyze the market, how to analyze the fundamentals of the rarity of a coin, how often it's printed, how often it's distributed, Every, every crypto, every blockchain is a little different. Make sure that it has a decentralized blockchain. A lot of these blockchains are totally private, totally centralized, and it's business as usual. Co such as Coinbase is a good way to start off, but Coinbase is the new bank. It's, gonna, it's the new world bank. And a lot of people think that having their Bitcoin or the Ethereum in Coinbase makes them think they have real ownership of it. It is not the truth. A lot of these exchanges get hacked. A lot of them shut down. The owners take the currency for themselves. KYC, a AML, anti-money laundering, know your customer. These are all methods to keep us slaves, financial slaves and data slaves. So you want to break out of that. You want to download a wallet. You shouldn't have to pay for anything. And you want to make sure that you own the private keys to your Bitcoin. That's just first off. You need an on-ramp, you need an off-ramp system. When you purchase a decentralized digital currency that you're actually, that's a political choice you're making. And you're leaving, you're exiting the system. And if you need to put your money back in the system, you need an on-ramp and off-ramp. And that's how you can profit in USD. And that's how you can profit in crypto. It is not how much Bitcoin is worth in USD. It's how much USD is worth in Bitcoin. This is the new world standard. In order to get any other cryptocurrency, in order to even purchase other cryptocurrencies, you need Bitcoin. So this is the new world standard. And you wanna change your mentality to look at how much Bitcoin am I accumulating at this point in time. This is the accumulation phase of the market. Be fearful when others are greedy and be greedy when others are fearful. Warren Buffett, secrets to his, his success. So when no one's looking at it, no one's talking about it, everyone's saying it's dead, that's when you buy in. That's when, and let me, let me stress this. You don't have to buy Bitcoin. A lot of people have this misconception of it's an investment, it's an investment. Just honestly go up and tell everyone on the internet in person you accept Bitcoin. You accept money, right? You accept PayPal. Just say I accept Bitcoin. If you can't afford to buy it, just tell everyone I accept it. There's people on the internet like me looking all over to spend our Bitcoin. We want to find more merchants, more personal business merchants to spend our Bitcoin just for fun. So if you were to come out, whatever it is you do, and just let the world know you accept Bitcoin, you're gonna sound crazy at first, but that's fine. But the people who profit the most are the ones who are willing to be open-minded and accumulate early in the game, get all the uh, Google stocks early, in the, or Yahoo stocks early in the game, you know what I'm saying? And let me let me stress in this. Someone said, I got Bitcoin through Paxful. Does that mean I have no ownership to my own Bitcoin? If it is still on Paxful, you have to enter your password to get on there. It is their money. Get it off as soon as possible. You want to make sure that you own your private keys. And if worse comes to worse, what do you mean by private keys? Private keys. So when you sign up for a wallet, there you go. You're going to either have to write down 12 words or 24 words, actual English words like star, uh, door, and you're going to write these. Um, you're gonna write these words down 
and they correspond to a, a, a very mathematical number that corresponds to your wallet. So it's easier for the human to read. So 12 words and 24 words, as long as you know those words, you have the access to your crypto. And if anyone takes those words or steals those words, they have access to your crypto. So there's such things as, uh, called multi-signature wallets where you need at least two or three people to let the funds go. So someone can't come up to you because this happens with the gun or torture you for your, 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 your passphrase. You need two or three people around the world to approve of the transaction before it can be released. It's called a multi-signature wallet. Now, I could take any more questions, but yeah, Paxful, if the money's not in your crypto wallet, you don't own it. And you wanna take care of that ASAP. Now, the beginner, get beginner apps, uh, just start off with Coinbase. Start off with our local bitcoins.com. If you need to, uh, a quick come up, you can always charge a premium rate for your Bitcoin. You can always charge a premium rate. You, whatever it is now, you can charge to, uh, up to $500, maybe $1,000 more today and just flip it real quick if, if that's what you choose. And you can accept any kind of payment you want. Now, uh, just real quick, talk about centralized exchanges and uh, decentralized exchanges. When you have to put your money on another account in someone else's wallet, that's a centralized exchange. Decentralized exchange means it doesn't go to anyone else, it comes out of your wallet, you get to trade wallet to wallet, decentralized. So we'll go deeper into the course, we'll go deeper and I'll give you some game. I'll show you how to monetize your co uh, computer, your laptop just from being on. I rent out my extra hard drive space, I rent out my extra processing power, I mine cryptocurrencies, I, I buy cryptocurrencies that pay dividends every single month. Uh, I also have a, a very strategic way of uh, setting limit buys and limit sells. So I don't have to pay attention to the market. I profit from the market while doing everything else because of the way I set my tradings up. I don't have to pay so much attention to it. It works on its own. So that's the brief introduction. Hey, 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 this guy. Centralization, cryptocurrency. This cryptocurrency. guy seems like a quiet guy. Let me let me tell you, to the naked eye, people see him, he just seems like he's just a quiet, Rastafarian looking dude who might be blowing on some real good <laughs> sticky. You know what I'm saying? And then when you get to really talk to him about what he does, he is also a master farmer. You know, he, he has knowledge of aquaponics, but in general, the basic convention of agriculture, he deals with that too. He's a real good brother, man. I'm so proud of him. I mentor him. I mentor this brother and he never cease to amaze me. He's very good. So um, we're going to incorporate the cryptocurrency information. I mean, I already have for the mentorship. Uh, trust me. We teach you for, if, if you were to do the mentorship for one week to a week and a half, there's no way you could say that you're not making any bread or making any monies off of this information. Because we'll show you step by step how to make this happen. You see, people, they see the dope cars. Oh, okay. Dang. <laughs> All right, man. We about to leave. We leaving. It was just a beautiful ambiance. We wanted to get all of this, this energy. Of course, you understand that. But yeah, yeah, yeah. we about to take this this class on cryptocurrency elsewhere so we don't get distracted. Oh, I can go in. Can, oh no, we we about to go in. We about to keep this conversation going. The ops is here. We got to move for the ops. But uh, thank you for being positive, man. Appreciate, it. Appreciate you for being positive. Yo, you can hit that truck and we finish. Uh, the park? Yeah, let's go to the park. Where, where front side? Yeah, the ops is here. We gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, thanks a lot, man. <laughs> yeah, you, you gotta be positive. I just like the environment over here because it's real, real dope. Let me see if I can get this door. Oh. Yeah, man. I forgot. I left it open. I, yeah, yeah, thank you. Yeah, you gotta gotta show love because he could come with a nasty attitude and energy. Favorite apple juice, Martinelli's. What's up? Ooh. Starting to, starting to wake up now. It's 
on the way car. You see? Starting to wake up. Security and drivers and everything. But yeah, last night was a movie, you heard? Last night was a movie, so I had to be in, I had to do what the freak I do. I had to do what I do. It was a movie time last night. I had to bring the beautiful women out and do the damn thing. Oh yeah, definitely in a good vibe. Whew, all right, play ball too. You know, after a while the sleepy face go, I'll be back to the woke face. The sleepy face come in. I got too much to offer planet Earth for me to be sleeping. Cause guess what? If I wasn't as committed to sharing information, then you would never got that information on a black woman and cryptocurrency. It's just perspective, you know? Perspective is great to get that in the morning. It's the best breakfast. Offer you perspective for breakfast. How about that? I offer you perspective for breakfast. Me. Perspective for breakfast, how about that? Okay. Come on. Come on, man. This is this is what we do. This is what we do. Good breakfast, that's what I'm talking about. Make sure you share this video. There's a lot of powerful information here. Okay. All right. Where are these guys at? Let me hold on. Uh, Mexican families out. Yeah, yesterday, you know, I was out with the Jamaican sisters. They were showing me how to roll it out. Ain't gonna smoke it though, but you know, still education nonetheless. It was pretty fun. Yeah, goes the homie right here. Let's do it. You still recording? Yeah, yeah, we good. Okay. You come in, brother. Okay. We do what we gotta do. Yeah. I'm yeah, any oh. more questions they got, I, I'm willing to. Let's get let's it. Let's talk about money. What is money? 
Yeah, yeah, get get up in there. How you open this? Uh, yeah, you go. What creates value? Let's get in. Give them a few, a little bit more. Yeah. Okay. This ain't no time to talk about R. Kelly, man. Knock it off. <laughs> Stay focused. Yeah, just tell them like simple. Someone said, what's a good dollar amount to start with for the cryptocurrency? I started off with $20. I put $20 almost every week. $20. And I actually lost. You know what? My first Bitcoin uh, experience, I got hacked. And I want to let you guys know about that. I ended up getting the copy-paste virus. And... You guys be aware of that. I was using an old computer with malware. Someone ended up hacking it. And every time I posted the address, it switched it to a new address right before I clicked send and it sent my my Bitcoin somewhere else. So I was very frustrated at first. And I talked to the online community and they were like, yo, this is not a common problem. It's your problem. I went, <laughs> I went, yeah, I went and threw away my laptop and got a new laptop. So just make sure uh, that you know you got an antivirus. Make sure your computer is decently clean so it doesn't have any malware. Because that'll be the for anything digital can be stolen from you. So when you do write your 12 words or your 24 words, make sure you write them down on a piece of paper, laminate it, put it in a fire safe proof, and make at least two copies and put them. These are this is like the ultimate way. To make sure that you have access to because people like Elon Musk and I'm not even sure 50 cent he uh, the IRS called him because they realized he has seven 750 Bitcoin he didn't even know he was a Bitcoin millionaire because someone tried to rip him off back in the day over an album they said can I give you 750 Bitcoin because it was really cheap and he said yeah ended up being a Bitcoin millionaire IRS called him so yeah so that's that shows you how how vast uh, how fast things can go and this is such a volatile market crypto I call it the Wild West. No, there's no regulations. A 12 year old can put five dollars in a Bitcoin and put it on the market. There's there's no broker. There's there's no a uh, weekend. No, it's 24 hours all around the world, global market, and it's it's. I would say it's the freest market. I would say it's the freest market. They say markets can be manipulated and whatnot, but uh, cryptocurrency is is fair. It's the fairest we've ever seen, and. I think there's 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 plenty of opportunity in that. And that's why I want to stress to the black community. There's plenty of opportunity. It's going to be probably the biggest transfer of wealth. And right here, even if you don't do or listen to polite and all the other stuff he it teaches, you could actually listen to this that he teaches and actually do well on your own. Like, so, crypto is is an opportunity, and that's what uh, gives me the passion is the opportunity that we have at our disposal with no questions asked. We don't have to get approved, we don't have to verify, we can do it all online, right away. If you're a good day trader, you can make a thousand bucks a day, you know? It all depends on your strategy, and every, just figure out what works best for you, your lifestyle, your loved ones, and there's a strategy for you. Uh, I have a lot of things I need to focus on, so I do my best to work on passive income, and as many various forms of passive income from cryptocurrency. So that's my <laughs> Me. Good. Talking that talk. Talking that talk. So yeah, family. If you're ready for the real deal, you're ready to get that knowledge on how to make money in real time. You can do one of two things. You definitely hit the email, brotherfly45 gmail.com, put your first and last name there. We have a course coming up, and one of the things that's gonna be taught in the course is the crypto economics. We're going to get in tune with that. And of course, when we do the course, we show you how to make the bread step by step. We're not going to play games. We're going to show you step by step how to do it. So mark my words, money back guarantee. There's no way you're going to learn from us in the course and say, I still don't know what to do with this crypto. You'll have the blueprint. You'll have mm -hmm. the template. You'll have a step by step format. You'll have a business model. You'll have stratagems that can be employed and will be employed in real time. So after that course, you can say, man, I know what the heck I'm doing. That's, that's the goal. You can also teach other people. This is still early in the game. If you even know a little bit, that's valuable. So you take the course, you learn what you can, and then you can go in consultation your own. That's because right. this is valuable and it's still, about, they say about 2% of the world population that knows about it and is, is invested in crypto two percent and this is a global i mean 
it, it, it's just astronomical the the hundreds of trillions of dollars that are waiting to pour that are getting ready to pour into this decentralized currency that's a fact and the cost would be about a hundred and twenty dollars you just go to brotherpolite45 at gmail.com and you inquire either to take the mentorship where you get that and several other income streams the way we do it you're only going to win at the end of the day or you turn around and you say bet i just want to do that course and I definitely want to get that cryptocurrency in the course. Of course, we're going to throw real estate in the course. Of course, we're going to throw credit in the course because this is what we have to do because this is what the world is about. You know, I tell you this, if you master the world of credit and crypto, yeah, you'll, you'll be straight because that's where the money's at. Mm -hmm. Credit, crypto, and insurance. How about that? Mm. Credit, crypto, and insurance. Mm -hmm. Those are three forms of income that are not common knowledge for our people and those are the three types of income that non-blacks are able to leverage the most to stay in front of members of our community because there's a disconnect that's all there is it's not common knowledge to brothers and sisters in our community okay so we'll show you how to set up a qrp or a qualified retirement plan which is a cash and tax deferrable compensation arrangement plan and in doing this we've empowered you with the ability to set up your own annuities self-annuitization this is how to, you set up recurring payments for yourself just like how some people collect social security income or ssi okay that's a recurring payment so the goal is how do i create recurring payments for myself through the consistency of getting returns so we'll show you how to annuitize the tax lien as an example. And the reason why we show you how to set up a QRP or qualified retirement plan, right, which is a cash and tax deferrable compensation arrangement plan, is because that type of pension allows you to be a trustee, behave as a trustee to your own pension. This is very important and because when you talk about pensions, you can't roll over contributions without penalties and by rolling over contributions we mean taking from one pension and putting money into another normally there's a penalty so if I had a Roth 401k and I say yo I want to take some of these monies out prematurely is what it would be then they would hit me with a heavy fine that's basically what it is or penalty but if you have a QRP you're able to roll over the contribution this is the jargon it's always about the words because if you don't know the nomenclature of that which corresponds with the genre that you're engaging you get lost just by the words itself so we have to say your nomenclature so when you have a pension and you want to use the monies from your savings or transfer the monies from your savings that's called rolling over the contribution and normally that comes with a penalty but if you have a QRP qualified retirement plan then it costs you nothing to take from that which they would have penalized you from to transfer that wealth or those monies into a new pension plan. Now this is tough when it comes to teaching our people. And the reason why it's so difficult is because this is a this is grown folk conversation. And this is not to demean anybody or disrespect anybody, but we're talking about wealth stewardship and we're talking about longevity. We're talking about making money in our older age or having money in our older age. And no one has time for that because the money seems so scarce in our younger age that nobody got time for it until they become older and they wish they made these types of decisions. So no one's creating their own baskets, no one's creating their own pensions. But I want you to understand if you say you're standing in the pause of the S&P index, you'll come to terms with the fact that there's a ratio as far as hyperinflation and food inflation is concerned when it comes to being able to forecast money. And that's what you want to do. You want to be able to forecast money. The same way astrologers have a certain type of forecast, the same way the weatherman has a certain type of forecast, you need to understand. You may be working a job and saying, man, well, I'm working towards having $150,000 in savings when I retire. It ain't much, but at least it's something. But you got to realize that that $150,000 is going to be devalued in the 20 to 30 years that you'll be working. See, it's a reason why they want you to work for 30 plus years before you retire. Because then the money that you anticipate in coming into will not be worth the same thing, but the dollar amount will be the same. And that's where the mistake takes place with most people, where they wind up broke or even homeless in their retirement. Then they have to look for a job, and it's hard to get a job in that age because of the available market for getting jobs for the younger people. 
So most people ain't going to be able to get no job after 66, 67, which is when they want you to retire. You have to live off your pension. And then that pension that you have, yeah, you will walk into the dollar amount most likely or in or around that you anticipated walking into, but that dollar amount won't be the same. Okay? So if you're walking into $100,000, if your anticipation is to walk into $100,000, it's going to be worth about 60 grand or less. And every 30 years... The money devalues because of the hyperinflation because we're producing more money than we have backing. Okay, and then there's food inflation. So what happens is you're getting less for the dollar amount that you're spending for. So remember, our generation comes from a quarter bag of chips. Now there's no quarter bag of chips. Not only do the chips cost more money, but they give you less chips in the bag. So two things are taking place. The price of the product goes up and the quantity corresponding goes down. So that's called food inflation. While it's at the same time, we're printing more money. Then we're printing more money that contradicts the debt, which is the hyperinflation in short. So we got two things going on. The national debt goes up, and so is the amount of dollars we keep printing. And we're employing what's called modern money mechanics. And this is when they create 90% more money to every dollar that's been issued. So if they create a thousand dollars, if if a thousand dollars is made, ninety nine hundred dollars is created in the advent, and this is why money's dissipating. That that philosophy around money has been abused so much that crypto only makes sense. This is how it's all interwoven because you can look up modern money mechanics. It's a free book made by the Federal Reserve for you to understand how they make ninety percent of that which they produce so if they for every hundred dollars ninety dollars is being created illegitimately mm. <laughs> and you can't win keep doing that you can't keep doing that and win you can't keep doing that and expect the system to go so cryptocurrency actually is the savior for the world and it's the only type of currency that we could bear witness to where there's transparency yeah. unlike or unparalleled to any other type of form of currency. You know, you can see where it has its inception and where it is up to current. And I know this sounds like a whole different type of conversation, because it is. Yep. But it actually is a good thing. And what's going to happen is a lot of people will be evasive and forced yep. to be acclimated to it. And you don't want to be forced to be acclimated to this information, because if you are, what's going to happen is you won't be the beneficiary of the same. Yeah. You know, those of us that was forced to be acclimated to the internet, forced to be acclimated to the Metro card, we didn't really get the full benefit of it. Yeah. And this also means simultaneously that we didn't know how to invest because we kind of waited till we had no choice but to use it. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? So we want to make sure that you know how to use it. We don't want you to wait until you're forced and have no choice because it's part of the world and no matter what you do, you have to spend in Bitcoin. Yeah. That's not the way you want to be educated. Okay? So, I want y'all to follow me on YouTube because I, I, I'm i about to go on YouTube and get this in. You follow me on YouTube. But again, you go to brotherpolite45 at gmail.com if you're interested in this particular course the free classes is going to be combined with the course because i got some free classes that's due for the people who took the last course so those free classes are going to be interwoven with this course and we have to discuss the three most uncommon things that you should be making money off of and that is insurance credit and crypto this is where all the heavy hitters are making monies off of. Heavy hitters is not saving up the dollar to make money. Mm -hmm. They're not saving the dollar up to make money. So you can save up that money or we can teach you how to get revolving lines of credit, 50 grand upward, 200 grand upward. I do this with people that I'm mentoring all the time to get to the bag. It's a very powerful thing. Okay, and the mentorship varies. If you're interested, you, you email us at brotherpolite45 at gmail.com. And you leave your full name and phone number. Do not send me an email and leave your phone number. Do not do it. 
because you won't be responded to because all you're going to get is a response saying please leave your phone number always leave your full name and your phone number and let's get it in share this information with people if you know you've learned quite a bit and follow us on youtube at i am brother polite because i'm about to go to i am brother polite and we're about to have a little quick live stream keep the ball rolling i'm spending this morning teaching 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 that's what i'm spending this morning doing something very productive sharing this information that we need in real time talk to me talk to me so okay email if you're interested in the mentorship go to brother polite 45 at gmail.com Let's get this money in real time. Let's not play any games. We don't have time to play games, people. Let's make it work. Peace and many blessings to you. I love you all. We're going to I Am Brother Polite on YouTube right now. We're about to hook that up. Peace. Peace and blessings.